about someone or a situation, I'm not writing to, to get back at that person. I'm writing because it's the only environment where I can get angry and, and not have it be destructive. It's just an expression, unjudged, uncensored. It's a very pure, sacred place to be. The song writes itself anyway, so I don't have much of a say. The Breakup Album has long been a standard feature of pop music. In 1995, however, Alanis Morissette released arguably the breakup album to end all breakup albums. Jagged Little Pill, spirited, liberated, and full of rage, Morissette's mainstream debut instantly became a symbol of independence for young women and still stands as one to this day. Having gained relative fame in Canada after releasing two albums there as a teenager, Morissette found herself in search of a new recording contract that would help take her to an international audience. Her debut album Alanis had gone platinum in her home country and with the encouragement of a new manager, Morissette moved out of her parents' house in Ottawa and relocated to Canada's capital city of Toronto. The 19-year-old singer's talent was swiftly recognized by Glenn Ballard, a songwriter and producer who had worked with Michael Jackson's thriller Bad and Dangerous albums. Believing in Morissette's potential, Ballard invited Morissette to use his studio and the pair began working on what would become her career-defining album. Writing Jagged Little Pill was cathartic for Morissette, who finally found herself able to express her coming of age through more mature imagery, adventurous lyrics, and less conventional sounds. The singer spent months flying back and forth between Canada and Los Angeles to record the album with Glenn Ballard and she later recalled spending just 30 minutes writing each song while all her vocals were captured in one or two takes. The result was a chaotic yet authentic representation of her life at that time. Equipped with two finished tracks, You Oughta Know and Perfect, Morissette and Ballard approached a number of record companies in search of an album deal. Though initially rejected by all the majors, an undeterred Morissette continued writing songs until a representative from the relatively new label Maverick Records, co-founded by Madonna, got in touch. With the support of Maverick behind her, Morissette finished up a year's worth of recording and on June 13, 1995, Jagged Little Pill became her first internationally released album. The labels that passed on the album may have found the singer's success a bitter pill to swallow. You see, shortly after the record was dropped, the lead single, You Oughta Know, was picked up by LA's trend-setting alternative rock radio station K-Rock, which sent the album skyrocketing in the charts, while also thrusting Morissette into the spotlight. The defining song of the album, and arguably of Morissette's career, followed in February 1996, establishing her legacy as a writer of catchy yet intense pop songs with sophisticated lyrics. That song would be ironically, unironic, ironic. The song presented a string of laughably bad luck moments, creating an anthem for those times when it feels like the odds are stacked against you. Alanis' frustration resonated with the world, finding audiences around the globe as the song went top 10 in 12 countries on its way to being certified platinum in the UK. I know that it was happening in culture in general. That there was a wave of women becoming less apologetic about their alpha ways. There was a day where we'd be burned at the stake for, 
for even thinking some of the things that I write about. So I'm aware that the planet is changing and that there's more of an openness to having a complicated woman express herself um, and, and not be obliterated. There it is, in her own words. Having sold 33 million copies since its release, Jagged Little Pill's impact is undeniable. As is Morissette's status as a trailblazer for the creative freedom of women. There are modern pop icons that credit her for inspiration, stating that Jagged Little Pill helped shape them as musicians. And the album has gone on to inspire both an acoustic re-recording by Morissette and a stage musical based on its songs. With Morissette also undertaking a world tour in support of his 25th anniversary. It is clear that Jagged Little Pill remains as potent as ever. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You've been watching Unjudged Uncensored with Alanis Morissette. My name is Gary Harrison. Stay tuned and I'll catch you on the next one.